ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann with the Weather Extreme video for Monday afternoon, the 7th of January. And this day feels more like the 7th day of March around here. Pretty amazing. Let's go to the Skycam network, and uh, you can see uh, the Gulf Shores camera looks so inviting. Look at the uh, surf in the sand from Gulf Shores with the sky cam. We're looking east from the top of the Phoenix All Suites. The sky uh, partly sunny down there. A uh, good deal of sunshine at Birmingham. That's the uh, view on from the top of the Daniel Building looking back off towards the uh, south. And from Tuscaloosa, looking southwest from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. You know, that almost looks like a summer sky except for that low sun angle. But, man, it feels good out there today. There's a look at our big picture ridge here across the southeastern states, the reason for the warmth, but a cold trough out west where some big snows continue out there. And you can check out the temperatures around the nation this afternoon. Pretty amazing contrast. you got that blowtorch running from Texas up to Chicago. Chicago, it's 60 degrees this afternoon, but a very sharp thermal gradient just northwest of the city. Milwaukee sitting at 39 and Minneapolis-St. Paul at 34. And uh, we're going to stay in that mild air through Thursday, and then we start to get into colder air this weekend and into next week. Here's our watch warning map this afternoon. Close to home, we've got wind advisories for parts of Louisiana, Arkansas, and adjacent parts of Texas and Mississippi. Up north, look at the flash flood watches for Chicago and Detroit. Uh, they've seen a lot of heavy snow this season, but this time it's going to be heavy rain, their problem. And out west, a variety of winter storm warnings for the mountains out there. It's far south as New Mexico and uh, Arizona. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, convective outlooks uh, this afternoon. We'll begin with a look at the uh, day one outlook. This is for the rest of the afternoon and tonight. A slight risk of severe storms from roughly Longview, Texas, up into central Illinois. And that includes places like Tulsa, Little Rock, and St. Louis. Tomorrow, there is a slight risk from north Mississippi. I mean the far northern tip northward into Indiana, roughly from Oxford, Mississippi to Indianapolis. And uh, I think as the storms move in here tomorrow night, they will weaken. I don't expect any severe weather at that point. But now Thursday might be a different story. Uh, This outlook looks pretty good. The SPC has a pretty good chunk of Alabama in a severe weather risk on day four, which is Thursday. That includes a large part of Mississippi and Louisiana as well. And we'll talk about that as we go. And the wood, one good thing we've got to report here is it's the rain here. Look at the nice colors on that graphic. Remember, we haven't had any significant rain so far in 08. So this will be the first rain of the year. Looks like a good one with two events. Uh, that would be the event tomorrow night and the event Thursday. And this is suggesting rainfall amounts of two inches for the northern part of the state and some three to four inch rains from Memphis up to about Columbus, Ohio. And we will certainly welcome that. Let's run through some model output here. This is valid tomorrow. And by the way, this is the 12Z run of the GFS, the global forecast system. This particular output is at 500 millibars. That's about 18,000 feet off the ground. Nice short wave off to the west beneath that at the surface tomorrow. During the day, The uh, bulk of the rain remains west of the state, surface low near Chicago with a trailing cold front down to Dallas-Fort Worth. We'll go to midnight tomorrow night. The band of storms moves in here. Note the surface low is way up north uh, over the UP of Michigan. And considering the fact that it's midnight, uh, the instability values will not be all that great. The better dynamics are up north. We just don't expect a big severe weather issue. And then Wednesday, we are in between. Uh, The front stalls out near Montgomery. It might remain mostly cloudy much of the day, but any shower should be confined to South Alabama on Wednesday. And then Thursday, here comes our next short wave across the nation's heartland at the surface on Thursday. The low is near St. Louis. A nice batch of rain and storms down here, if that's correct. Uh, And we'll sure take that. Uh, That would suggest rainfall amounts of at least one inch on Thursday. And then Friday, that system is gone, and uh, some colder air begins to drop in here. That looks like highs will drop in the 50s on Friday, where they should be for this time of the year. Now, let's get to the weekend. And again, this is the one everybody's been watching for weeks, if you've been watching along with our Weather Extreme videos here. We note the Vortmax out there in West Texas. Sunday, that thing swings over to a point near Jackson. And as the energy uh, with that rounds the base of the trough, a surface low spins up. This is midday Sunday. 
near Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, that would suggest a chance of rain for South Alabama, a chance of some snow for North Alabama. It looks relatively light. And, of course, we have seen the GFS putting this system all over the board. Some runs too far south, some runs too far north. You know, that might be a correct solution. I think if you were to do an ensemble approach and look at all of the outputs in recent days, that would be pretty much in agreement with that. And that would suggest that some chance of maybe a few snowflakes around here. But before we get too excited, keep in mind we've got two systems to deal with. We've got uh, the, the one tomorrow night and the one Thursday. Let's get those out of the way, then we can focus on that. Having said that, here's a look at the GFS snow output, what, what should be the snow on the ground for Sunday evening. And this is suggesting a little bit, not much, less than one inch. Uh, down to uh, really Clanton almost, and then the good snows up over the uh, mountains of the Carolinas up into Virginia. Uh, so, and, and, you know, that's probably a pretty good approach with this thing if we were to tackle it right now. And let's peek at the European. This is for Sunday. Uh, it's got the surface low uh, midday, or this is Sunday evening, up around Cape Fear, North Carolina, in very cold air, and no doubt uh, the air is cold enough in here. Uh, for a few snowflakes. So, uh, you know, looking at this, and of course we are now within seven days. This is technically not voodoo country anymore. I, I think we mentioned a chance of uh, rain uh, uh, south of Birmingham, maybe some light snow or flurries from Birmingham north, and we'll be able to uh, amend that as we go along this week. And then Monday, the thing is long gone. Pretty cold. Look at the 540 line all the way down to Mobile. Uh, we might have a hard time getting out of the 30s on Monday. And then Tuesday of next week looks uh, pretty cold. Uh, but let's go out uh, a few more days. This is valid the 19th. Boy, look at the trough here, the energy diving down in that thing. A big surface low cranks up uh, really near Birmingham on this look, and that would suggest a major snowstorm for Little Rock and Shreveport and maybe Greenville, Mississippi. But, hey, you know what this is, pure voodoo. Uh, later that day, this is the evening of the 19th, the surface slow moves northeast and uh, everything changes to snow here. And again, that's a fun thing to think about, but I'm sure not forecasting that. Nobody knows if that will happen, but the patterns certainly suggest these storms developing on the boundary between very cold air and uh, warmer air to the south. I think we'll see several of these like this model is showing here. And at the end of the cycle on the 23rd, a, a trough is rotating off the coast and that looks pretty cold for the eastern part of the country so uh, the key word I think is changeable we'll have some storm systems to deal with a lot of fun and games along the way so strap in and get set for a wild ride that's it for the weather extreme video this afternoon we'll have notes on the blog the next video here tomorrow morning by seven o'clock and of course we invite you to watch us on television this evening ABC 3340 news at five six and ten o'clock again thanks for watching have a wonderful evening and God bless Weather, weather, weather.